Okay, so after much ado about nothing, we have managed to replace the upper idler, the lower idler, and the tensioner, and the tensioner bracket. And let me tell you, that is a pain in the ass to try and bloody get off and get back. So what we have to do is, ah, bloody me, we have to drop the alternator, which is there. We just unbolted the top bolt, slackened off the, uh, the major bolt here, and we dropped it down. And then we were just able to get a, a spanner, a socket in here to do up these, uh, the idler tensioner. Um, getting the other one off, we took the pulley off first. So if the old one, you know, take the pulley off and it's a lot easier. I should have really done it on this one, but the time we messed around, I thought, no, it's okay. This one was easy enough. The top one was a, a little trickier. So we're all prepared for putting on the new compressor tomorrow, which we're going to do, because I've had enough today, to be honest. Um, because it's not easy rolling around on a gravel floor. Um, on your back, working, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's pretty uncomfortable. Like I put my jeans, I got boots on and I got a long sleeve t-shirt on. But, you know, it was a bit of a pain in the arse and I'm really not HP about it. But uh, I haven't got a ramp, I haven't got a pit and uh, needs must. And I like to do the mechanics myself. So there we go. So we're going to say goodbye and we'll see you tomorrow where we're going to be fitting the compressor, showing you how to do that, fill it up with the oil and putting the thing back together and hopefully uh, it all works.